Welcome to Cortex Engineering Software Learning Block. In this video, we will look at how we can set up SQL database for PNID. So I'm using SQL Server Management Studio and I'm using Express Edition. So first, we need to create a new database. So I'm giving a name, project underscore Cortex. Once we have created the database, we need to establish the link between the database and PNID. So here we have just created new database, but this database is blank. There are no tables or anything for PNID yet. So what we're going to do now is we're going to establish a connection using OTBC database source. So let's go to OTBC. And here I'm going to add a new connection for SQL Server. Click on Add, select SQL Server. We need to give a name to this connection. I'm going to use PNID underscore SQL underscore server. I'm going to use same for description. And I need to select the server where the database is located. In this case, it's Windows 8 slash SQL Express. And then I just click on Next. If I have a different username or password to be used, I can also specify that here. Once it's done, we need to test the data source. It's been completed successfully. Okay, so now once we have established the connection between the database and data source, we can go into PNID and create a new project. With Access, we set up a Pro database when we set up a project but in this case we need to set up a database first and then we create a new project. So I'm going to use SQL Server so I need to browse the folder when I'm going to save all the drawings and all the settings. So I need to, I need to create new project folder and I'm going to use the same name. Okay so once we have created a new folder we need to define the database for that project. So the, the name that we used in our SQL server was project underscore cortex. Okay, so I'm just going to go and use project underscore cortex. Now it is also important to define schema. Um, schema that is something that we need to go and check in SQL server. So DBO owner that contains all the permissions so you can modify who has read or write access, who has delete access or update access. But in this case I'm going to use DB owner which has all the access there. Okay, so once it's done we need to give the password if there is a password, but in this case there is no password. So I'm just gonna click OK and now I need to create a new drawing with database going to go and check PID01. So now we have just created new drawing. Now let's add a new object here. I'm going to add a new process line and let me add a valve here so we can check if that has been added into our database or not. Okay so we just click on it and let's modify the tag number there. I'm going to give V100 and once it's done uh, let's go to SQL database. What I need to do is I just need to refresh that to make sure that we see all the changes. So here all the tables are created and let's check out valve table there. I'm going to select top thousand rows when you do select of thousand rows it gives you a read only access you can't modify anything here so let's check if the val number here yep that's v100 but if you need to modify that you just need to right click on that and edit top 200 rows there okay so if i go and find that tag number there it is let's change that to v101 and i'm going to save all and just to be on the safe side, I'm going to close this table here. Okay, let's go back to PNID drawing and let's synchronize this in order to see the changes here. Very similar to what we do with Access, just need to synchronize that. And yes, I want to update and you can see that there is a change. 
in the tag number. So that's how we can create PNID database using SQL Server.